Hi, I'm Keith and I'm going to show you how to properly adjust track tension on a hydraulic excavator. This is a CAT 314E. Almost all excavators are going to be very, very, very similar to this. First thing we have to do is we have to fire the machine up. We have to lift this track in the air so the track is hanging underneath the machine. Now you saw me lift up the track and then you saw me spin it backwards. It's important to spin it backwards. What that's doing is that's taking any slack that's up on top, it's rotating it around and making it go onto the bottom so we can get a true reading of how loose this machine is, this track is. Now you can see the track is hanging down from the rollers. Normally it sits right up against these rollers. What we're looking for is we, want to, we do want a gap in there. If we make them too tight, it, it creates excessive wear on your undercarriage and that's not cheap to replace. So what we're looking for you know, I know everybody's hand is a bit different, but it's a generic reading. About that distance of your hand on a machine that's this size, which is a 14 ton machine, a 200, which is a 20 ton machine, you want about the same. If you're getting into the 300s, the 400s, add your thumb into that gap. And we put it in between the top of the rail and the bottom of the roller. This track is actually adjusted, but I'm gonna show you how to adjust it regardless. In this hole here, is a grease fitting. Looks exactly like the grease nipples when you grease your machine. And what this is, is when you put grease in here, it pushes this front idler out, which in turn makes the track tighter. Saw how the track was starting to come up. That's as this idler moves out, it makes the whole car body longer, which now the tracks start to get tighter. This track is properly adjusted. Put the machine back on the ground safely. And that's how you adjust the track on all hydraulic excavators.